short time ago, I spoke with Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas. So, you know, obviously this big battle over witnesses. I, I want to play your colleague Rand Paul last night talking about what he thinks is going to happen. He said that if, if you play games with this witness issue, all hell is going to break loose. Watch this. Fair is fair. And if they're going to put the president through this, they're going to have to have witnesses on both sides. But if it turns out and the Republican base sees that this looks like only Democrat witnesses and no presidential witnesses, I guarantee that the Republican bra the Republican base will punish those people who set up that kind of scenario. How's that going to work? Well, look, I, th I think that's exactly right. But, but the good news is that that's not going to happen. Uh, unlike the House, you know, we've had months and months of this proceeding in the House, and, and, and it's been a, a one-sided circus. I mean, it has been entirely partisan. The House Democrats put it on. Uh, you know, they declined to follow the precedents in the House of the Clinton impeachment, of the Nixon impeachment. So they didn't allow the minority to subpoena witnesses. They didn't allow the White House to cross-examine witnesses. And it was entirely one-sided. The, the good news is the Senate, I, I'm confident, is going to do much better, that we're going to have a fair process. We're going to give both sides a, a full and fair opportunity to present their case, and we're going to decide the case according to law, and we're going to follow due process. So now what does that mean for witnesses? Well, we're going to proceed in two phases. Phase one uh, is going to be the opening arguments from the House managers and, and from the White House. Each will have 24 hours spread out over two days to present the arguments they want. Their legal teams will stand up, present their case, make their arguments, put forward whatever evidence they want in those arguments. And then we'll move to questions from senators that we write down and the Chief Justice asks for us. Mm -hmm. After all of that is completed, then we're going to vote on whether or not to consider additional witnesses. And, and that'll be a binary choice. If we don't, consider additional witnesses, we'll move straight to verdict. And I'm confident the president will be acquitted because the House articles don't meet yeah. the constitutional standards of high crimes and misdemeanors. So but I, if I mean, we I'm, do take witnesses, I think I think what you just heard is exactly right, yeah. that it's going to be fair. We're going to follow the principle of reciprocity, which means if the prosecution gets a witness, the defense is going to get a witness, too. Yeah. And I, I just think, you know, based on what we know, actually getting those witnesses that are being discussed on both sides would drag this out for a very long time. And if both sides are fine with yeah. that, uh, then that's likely what's going to happen, because it's not like you're going to say, oh, you know, uh, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden and John Bolton, can you all please show up tomorrow for questioning? Um, I, I want to play this from Lev Parnas, who is uh, not a new name to those of us who followed this for a long time, but is new to, I think, a lot of people in America. Here he is talking about about why it's so important uh, to have witnesses in this case. Watch this. I think Bolton is a very important witness because I think between me and Bolton, we could fit in all the dots, I think, uh, because I was on the ground there and he was over here. I and mean, you'd be willing to testify? I would be very willing to testify. What do you say to that, sir? Listen, I, I think this is a game. It's been a partisan game from the Democrats from the beginning. They've had dozens and dozens of witnesses in the House, one after the other after the other. Now, they wouldn't have any defense witnesses. They didn't want to call in Hunter Biden. They didn't want to hear the evidence of corruption on Joe Biden's part. But but they've put on a, a, a kangaroo court for months. And, and, and you know, this, this, this latest fellow, this left harness guy, what we're seeing, and I think we're, what we're going to see over the next couple of weeks, is a replay of what happened with Brett Kavanaugh, which, yeah. is, which is that Democrats are going to leak things one day after the other after the other. It's going to happen next week. Every day or two, there's going to be something new leaked, and you're going to see whether it's this Lev fellow or someone else going on Rachel Maddow. And I promise, whatever they leak, they're going to say, this is the smoking gun. This finally does it. And, and, and this is all a game of three-card money. They don't care about the facts and they don't care about the evidence. How do we know that? Because m many of these House Democrats said they wanted to impeach Donald Trump on the day he was elected, November 2016, long before anything had happened with Ukraine, long before he'd been sworn in. This is not driven by the facts. And if you look at the articles of impeachment, they voted out. This is the first time in history any president has ever been impeached without even an allegation in the articles of criminal conduct. They don't allege that he violated any criminal law. They don't allege he violated any law, that he had a, even had a speeding ticket. And what this is, 
Is Democrats unhappy with the election trying to use impeachment to remove the president to undo a Democratic election? Well, it's an abuse of the Constitution. The will, Senate, thankfully, is not going to let itself become the kind of circus the House is. We're going to follow the law. We're going to be fair. We're going to respect due process. And following the law means the president's going to be acquitted. Senator Cruz, thank you uh, for bringing your perspective tonight. I'm sorry we had a little audio delay uh, there, but we're going to be watching stem to stern as this uh, gets kicked off next week. And uh, you're going to be a prominent player in all of it. So we will uh, we'll be watching. Thank you very much, sir. Good to see you, Senator. Thank you, Martha.